Welcome back to Beaded Doilies by Shell. Here we are continuing to create our napkin ring. Um, what you want to do, to we are using the one needle stitch and um, I have another three feet of string. And what we want to do is we want to go through the last bead. Um, you want to check your piece and make sure you're in the right place. That the last top bead, you want to go through it with one end of your string, pull through about um, four inches or so, and then you're going to thread just like you finished off. You're going to do the same thing to secure this end of your string. So we're going to go through two side. Actually, I'm going to do this slightly differently because I want my start string to be on the inside. So we're going to go through it in the opposite direction which we would normally thread through it, which is away from our um, finished row. And then pull out about, like I said, about four inches. Then we will go down to in through the center. And then go down to This one went through the center two. So we went down two and through the center. And we go down two more. And through the center again. And down two more. Through the center, and then we'll head back up. string seems to have got a dent in it, but we can work with that. This makes it a little harder to do to do to. Well, that one did two. Okay. In the center. Makes it a little harder to work with. Bring up the last two side beads. And back through the la the top bead again. And then we want to clip it off and we want to oh well got some scissors here. I prefer my clippers, but I seem to have left them in the other room. And just, you know, when you cut that piece off, just be careful not to cut off your working string. Now our working string is coming towards the inside, which is what I wanted. So now we're going to go up through the next two connecting beads or side beads. So that's one 
to. And like I said, just make sure that you go through the side beads and don't accidentally go through a center bead. All right, and we finished where this first C is, so that means we can start right here with this next circle after that. So we need a red, a yellow, and a red. And then we go through the top bead of our previous circle. And we go through our two side beads again. And then we go through the next two side beads. And we're ready for the next set of beads, which is a green. Followed by a red. And then a yellow. Go through our top bead of our previous circle. Our two current side beads. And then two more side beads. And then this one, we need three greens. Right now we need, or the next three sets will all be red. So that's three red beads. Oops. That's our first set of red. Now we need three red beads again. That is our second set of red. Now we add the third set. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't... Oh, no, 
don't know, I see it. It was red. Thought my second red side bead was one of the ones I just added. Alright, got it. Now we do the next two side beads. Now, as you go through these two side beads, you'll see that this is our last circle. So we are also going to want to go through this bottom bead of the circle that was already on here. The first circle we added. So we want to go through that bottom bead of that circle. And that brings us to this point right here and we are currently coming out this bottom bead here so we're going to add these two beads which is red green so we need a red and a green All right. now we go through the top bead And we want to go through our two side beads. Make sure you're going through the correct two side beads. You want the two side beads that are a part of the circle you just added. Alright. And then we're going to go through our um, top of the circle we just added. And that has us coming out right here. So this is added now, and we're coming out right here. So what we want to do is we want to go up. So looking at where we're coming out right here, we want to go through this first side bead that is right above the bead that we are coming out of. So just the one side bead that is right above Uh-oh. Oh, good. Alright. So, we're coming out of this one, and we went through this one side bead. So, we are now going to add one, two, three, four beads. So, we need two yellows. A red. And a green. Now, we are coming out of this side bead, so we want to go to, from where the string is, we want to go to the opposite, and we want to enter it from the opposite side, so that then we can also go through the bead that our string is coming out of. And then we bring that circle up. And that gives us the first circle of our new row. Now we'll go through the next two side beads above where we just added our circle. And we have now added this. And we are now going to add these beads. We want to add one, 
two, three, so that's red, yellow, red. Go through the top bead of our previous circle, the two side beads of the circle we're working on, and then two more side beads. Okay, now, because we have added this bead here that the line is going through, that means we have added this bead here. So now we just start at the bottom, this shared bead is already on, and we just continue up the row. So, our next set of beads is yellow, red, yellow. We go to the top of the previous, the two side beads that are part of our current circle. And then the next two side beads. Now we need a green, a red, and a yellow. Now we need three greens, three reds a red, a yellow, and a red.
Karma. We need a green, red, yellow. two reds I find occasionally my string wraps around the previous circle, so if you find your previous circle suddenly squishes in, um, your string has probably caught it, so just let it loose and then get your string out of the way. Now our next will be all yellow, so three yellow beads. Now we need a red, a green, and a red. yellow, red, and green. Now we need three yellows.
two reds. And then we need two yellows and a red. Red, yellow, red. Two reds, and a yellow, green and two reds now as you do get close to the other end when you're doing your piece. You want to make sure that you go the correct direction towards the row that you just circle you just did and not towards the um, already finished side. Now we are on the last circle, so we go through the two side beads. and the bottom of the finished end. We'll bring our enlarged back. And we are currently coming out right here. As you can see we're slowly going down each time. Um, we will go off um, unfortunately, but we will work with that. Oops, I haven't added the... <laughs> we need to add one, two before we circle that. So we need two green beads. One, two, and then we want to go through the top of our previous circle, like usual. And turning our work correctly, go up through our two side beads. And then this time <coughs> we want to come out here. And we are at the top of this green circle coming out here and we want to 
go up as we done. So we're coming out here. We want to go up through this one side bead. So we'll go through that one side bead. And that gets us in place to add this next circle, which there's one, two, three, four. So that's two reds, a green, and a red. Two reds, a green, and a red. And then take our piece. And we want to go through this bead, which is on the opposite. The string is coming out the top. The string bead is below, so we want to go through it, going up towards the bead our string is coming out of. And there we have the first circle of our next row. Now we'll go up to the next two side beads. And we have added this one. And we're going to add the next one, which is yellow, red, yellow. Go to the top of our previous circle. Two side beads. And two more side beads. Now, for this next one, if you remember, when we come to the line, we come down here to this side, and we go one, two, three. That's our three beads, and they are all yellow. So we will add three yellow beads. Go through the top and the two sides. And now our string is pretty short, so I want to tie back. Now, this here is a little short because there's only three circles. So, what I'm going to do is instead of going through the top circle, I'm going to go into the previous row so that I'm going through a center bead. I went up two. You could also go down two as long as you're going through a center bead. And now, starting here, I will do the four circles. So, two side beads, center, Two side beads, center, two more side beads, center, two side beads, center. Now we turn and we head back the way we came. Two side beads, center, oops, and two side beads. Center, we 
do the last two side beads and center and then we cut off our excess and there is your napkin ring coming together and we will continue in the next video. See you there!